Mr. Grimes, mathematics teacher, is displeased with the progress of his ninth grade class in mathematics. You see what low grade you made on your weekly mathematics test. More than half of you failed. Most of those who passed just got by. Nobody had 100%. Being in an environment where the students, and not only the students, but the faculty as well, continue to focus on the academics as well as the social aspects of the child um, just creates a, a student who comes out of the learning process or a learning environment and walks into uh, an environment where they can be immediately be a productive member of whatever, whatever group that they're working with. Ben and Griffin are nurtured and taught and allowed to excel as individuals. And it's truly a blessing. Um, the third school my oldest son has been at, and the second school experience my younger son has been at, and they are both thriving and have a true love of learning. And it's, it's truly beautiful to, 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 to see. Ben never complains about going to school, and they are, they come home excited wanting to learn more, and, um, and that's truly a gift. For you the child's potential, and you will transform him into the world. We're allowed to talk, but not like scream or anything like recess. No, and it's not like, like out of school stuff, just more like we can help each other. Yeah, we can help each other, we can work together. It's exciting because I think I could have been excited about math, but um, I didn't have the same opportunity available and it wasn't taught to me in a way that was accessible. And uh, Montessori has a wonderful way of making math accessible. My seven-year-old is all excited that he does multiplication better than addition. Um, something that happened recently to me with my daughter, we were at a public location and we were sitting at a small table and she said, Mommy, Mommy, I need you to, to quiz me. I said, okay, all right. I love math. Mommy, you can ask me addition, multiplication, or subtraction. We're doing division tomorrow. <laughs> I said, okay, all right. So I start asking her some questions, you know, two plus two, six plus eight, whatever. She's getting the right. And there was a woman sitting at the table with us. And she just kind of looked at me and she said, what grade is she in? I said, kindergarten. Wow, what school does she go to? I said, she goes to Hillview. The greatest sign of success for a teacher is to be able to say that children are now working as if I did not exist. Well, she comes over, she sometimes walks around, and she, um, if you don't know something, she helps you and she asks you, what, what do you think you did wrong? So then she helps me figure it out. And if I know it, she um, looks over, and if she sees me doing it right, she just walks away. We usually just sit down and do the work, maybe for a few days, and then it'll be due on one day. And if you finish it before, you can give it to the teacher, or if you finish it on the day that's due, you can give it back to her. When you walk into a Montessori classroom, is immediately you can see that there is no authority position and that it's actually difficult to initially find the teacher. And when you look, you notice that the teacher is actually on the floor or at the individual workstations that are set up among the classroom, helping the children work on whatever thing it might be that they're working on at the moment. And the teachers are really seen by the children as true collaborators in the educational process rather than sort of a taskmaster, if you will. And for me, having grown up in a public education environment, that was probably the first thing that I noticed. Never help a child with a task at which he feels he can succeed. The difference between working at a traditional public school and working here at Hillview is that the children are able to work at their own pace. They're constantly challenged and they really enjoy being able to make their own choices and be responsible for their own education instead of constantly being told, you know, what to do by a teacher. One test of the correctness of educational procedure is the happiness of the child. I really enjoy the fact that when he comes home, 
how happy he is, how he tells us about the projects that he has gone through, and all the things he has done in school. She loves it, just embraces every day, um, is proud of the fact that she hasn't missed a day of school since kindergarten because she loves it so much, she just doesn't want to miss school. A lot of new friends, great teachers, a great um, social environment, uh, sense of community. Um, so I think that's really what has drawn us to Hillview is not only the benefits that come from the Montessori education, but all of those other intangible benefits you may not find in a traditional environment. My children love to come to school every day. It amazes me what my children come home with and the knowledge that they've gained from being here for even just a short time. Yeah, we help each other with everything when somebody asks us, somebody asks us to help, we help them. Montessori is more than an education. It's a way of viewing yourself and viewing your world, of becoming an independent and healthy person, and then bringing that independence and that health out into the world and helping others, and then helping the world become a better place. It's if we got like a gym and a cafeteria, and possibly expand it, then it would be a, a lot better, but this school is already great, so that would just make it awesome.